and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to share with you guys a Stitch Fix unboxing and first impressions video. So I have my Stitch Fix box here. I have done a few videos about Stitch Fix unboxings and I don't get Stitch Fix every single month. I just kind of get it on demand when I want to. But if you haven't tried St Stitch Fix, the tongue twister, I will leave a referral link in the description box for you guys to check it out. But basically, Stitch Fix is a styling service where you fill out an online styling profile and a stylist handpicks five items in your box for you, it sends it to you. You do pay a $20 styling fee with your box, but then anything that you purchase from your fix is then automatically um, that $20 is applied to the purchase. So you have about three days from the time that you get your box to try everything on and take a look at it and um, let them know what you wanna keep. It comes with like a prepaid, um, a prepaid mailer to mail everything back. Let me take that out. Yeah, it looks like this, the mailer. And then it also comes with these style profile cards to tell you how to style your items and give suggestions. And then it comes with a pricing sheet so you can figure out um, what you're gonna pay for every item. So, like I said, I don't get Stitch Fix all the time. I think this is, this is my ninth Stitch Fix, so not a lot. I will say, let's see, yeah, this is my ninth fix. I will say that the last three times that I have gotten Stitch Fix have been so hit or miss. Now, I really like using Stitch Fix, and the reason that I kind of keep coming back to it is Number one, it's kind of fun to have somebody else style you and pick things out for you. And number two, there's a few things that I have gotten from Stitch Fix that I consider to be kind of more investment pieces. This shirt is actually from a Stitch Fix and I would have never picked this out for myself, but this is something that I kept from one of my previous fixes and I super love this shirt and wear it all the time. On average, like, well, on average, I usually keep one or two pieces from my Stitch Fix boxes. The last couple boxes I have been super disappointed with. Box number eight, I was super disappointed with. I'm just being honest. I felt like the stylist that I have or that I had really did not take a look at my style profile and Pinterest boards and kind of get a feel for my personal style. So I'm gonna share my first impressions with you on this one. I did, you can leave like a custom note for your stylist and let them know things that you want that you're looking for or that you don't want. I don't get jewelry, shoes, or accessories in any of my boxes. Those are items that I really like to pick out for myself and I'm really picky about. Um, and then also because I live in Phoenix, I let them know that I don't want any um, like heavy things for this time of year because it's going to be hot here and I'm just not looking for bulky sweaters or heavy winter items. I know in other parts of the country that it's different. Um, so that's why I like that you can leave a note for your stylist before you um, request your Stitch Fix boxes. So let's get into the items. Okay, so I did let my stylist know that I was looking for a few longer uh, cardigans, which that's why she picked this one out. I really, first impression, like the colors of this with the white and the pink. And this is the brand Love Ellie. I'll tell you guys the prices for this. Stitch Mix is a little bit, in my opinion, on the pricier side. Uh, this, These are gonna be more like Nordstrom prices. So let's see, the cardigan, this cardigan is $44. And I do really like this. I love cardigans like this. This kind of stuff is perfect for me living here in Phoenix because I don't really wear a coat. I wear lots of cardigans like this. So I do like this. The next item is this chambray tinsel top. And this one is $48, this plaid chambray top, you guys can see that. It is open there, but then it also has buttons. I think that this would probably be cute with leggings. It's really, really soft, this fabric. However, first impression, I am not a big fan of this like 
plaid pattern on the chambray. I will try this stuff on, but first impression, I'm not loving the pattern on this. The second thing, or third thing, is a pair of denim. And this is the brand Studio Blue. And this is a distressed frayed hem. It's got the distressing, distressing there on the knee. And then it has a frayed hem line there. So my first impression of this is that I already have something super similar denim, uh, same wash, same distressing in my closet. However, the ones that I have are a more, they're a jegging and not a true denim. So these ones actually have real working pockets. So I, I do like that. I'm excited to try these on and see how they fit. Who knows, maybe I'll replace the ones that I have. I'm super, like I don't like to have a lot of multiples of the same things in my closet. I just don't see the point of that. So for example, if these, you know, are similar to a pair of jeans that I already have, like I probably wouldn't be prone to wanting to keep this. However, I am excited to try this on and see if they fit better or the same um, compared to my other one because my other ones, like I said, are a jegging material and I like that these are more of a true denim with working pockets. And then the fourth thing, oh, this is really, really soft. It's this mix um, by 41 Hawthorne, which is the same brand of the top that I'm wearing. And this is an essential t-shirt dress. And this is $38. It's this navy t-shirt dress with short sleeves. And yeah, it's super pretty. I do love a good t-shirt dress. I pretty much live in dresses and skirts come spring and summertime here in Phoenix. And so I am really excited to try this on. It does have a pocket here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It kind of blends in. But this thing is really, really soft and coincidentally totally matches the shirt that I'm wearing. Okay, last but not least is this Colette, what does it say? Not front knit top. It's got a like mustard stripe. This is really soft too. So this one is $38. And then you just have like this front here that knots together. So my first impressions of this is usually I'm not like the biggest fan of these knotted tops. And this particular mustard color is not something that I have in my closet at all. I don't really gravitate toward it. So I don't know, I'll try it on though. I'm open to trying it on. Um, I think I might pair it with the denim and um, see what I think. Um, what I do see in this fix um, is that pretty much all of it are good basics. And so I do like that. Um, I'm just kind of thinking, I like to get these stitch fixes because I like to add things to my closet that I've been looking for that are a little bit more higher quality. I do tend to shop more at like Target and Old Navy and um, Banana Republic are like some of my favorite stores to shop at, um, which have all different price ranges, obviously in different styles of stuff. So getting this the Stitch Fix boxes helps get me out of that kind of routine and find some unique pieces. So I'm going to try this stuff on and see what I think of it and maybe show you guys a few pieces as well. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I am trying on the items in my Stitch Fix box. I didn't get to it the day before, just ran out of time. So I'm trying it on now. So this is that mustard top with the, with the denim. And so I, like I said, I would have never picked this particular style of top or um, color necessarily for myself. I'm gonna see if I can like prop you guys up here. Um, I like, sorry, 
Obviously, it's not. I like how soft this is. I just am not a fan of really the mustard stripes or the color of this. So I think that this is like gonna be a no. The um the denim the denim is um I like the fit and I mentioned this yesterday. The denim, I like the fit. However, I told you guys that they are very similar to a pair of jeans I already have. And these are those jeans, similar fraying and distressing on the cuffs at the bottom. And so I think these jeans are the ones that I have on here. These, I think they're $64. So to me, they're just so similar and I don't necessarily like them better than what I already have. So I think the jeans are also going to be a no. Okay, this is the chambray top that I have on here. And I can already tell you guys, this is going to be a, a definite no for me. I am not a fan of this pattern for chambray. I do have a couple chambray tops already in my closet. I have three and they're just very plain and neutral chambray. I don't like this pattern detail. I don't like the neckline here and um, I don't know. It's just a no. Okay guys, next is this um, pink and white uh, long cardigan and I still have on the same jeans and I really really like this um it's funny because when I got this in my fix my husband saw it and he was like are you gonna keep that you have so many of these long cardigans already and he's right I totally do I mean I have this one I have this one I have this one which is actually this one is actually from Stitch Fix, from one of my very first Stitch Fix. And I liked it because it's probably what started my long cardigan um, obsession. And then I recently just got this one um, from Target. So I don't know. I don't know if I can justify keeping this one. It is very pretty. I just have it on with like this plain white basic t-shirt and um I still have on the stitch fix jeans they the jeans are very comfortable and I would totally keep them if I didn't already have literally a similar pair okay guys last but not least is the navy blue t-shirt dress it has a pocket here and this is what it looks like it's very comfortable it literally feels like pajamas I have so many of these type of t-shirt dresses let me just show you i mean i have this one this pink one i have this lighter pink one i have a gray one um i don't however have a navy blue one that is necessarily like this like length i do like the length of this i want to check the price on this because i can't remember what the price was on this so depending on the price because usually I buy my t-shirt dresses at places like Marshall and TJ Maxx so I don't ever really spend more than probably $20 for them I have a feeling this one is I I can't remember if it's like 40 um, or not um, so we'll see um, so I don't know we'll see okay guys so I wanted to show you in my closet some of my favorite things that I have kept from Stitch Fix. These two maxi dresses, this navy one with the drawstring waist was one of the very first things I ever got from Stitch Fix. Um, this one, I got this last summer and I just loved it. Um, I hardly ever see stuff like that, like this in the stores that I shop at. And so I really, really liked that. I already showed you guys the sweater. This lace detail, like, macrame top is another item I found from Stitch Fix from one of my boxes. And then this really pretty royal blue uh, skirt. It has um, pockets 
and I just loved the pleating was also another like thing I got from Stitch Fix. Okay guys, I'm sitting on the floor of my closet finishing up the video with you guys and I don't know, I'm just so, I'm on the fence a little bit about Stitch Fix. Um, like I mentioned before, I super love the um, idea behind Stitch Fix and one of my issues with my last fix I felt like they weren't really like looking at my style profile and honing in on like my Pinterest boards and the stuff in my style profile that I had marked and I still um I'm learning every time I do a stitch fix I'm learning like what to ask for, what not to ask for. I do like a lot of basics and I'm learning one of the things I should have said to my Stitch Fix stylist is that I don't, while, although I like an outfit with some good basics, I also like unique and interesting pieces. And I was thinking about it just now as I showed you guys some of the items I have kept from other fixes is that I have kept the items that are really unique in my opinion the stuff that I have not been able to find at a store that I am shopping at and so that's what I feel like is mixing missing from the last two stitch fix boxes that I've gotten is they've been just this one was a lot of basics just a lot of like I mean plain tops and just basics which isn't bad but I'm looking for like those unique pieces, like I said, to pair with the basics. And so it's just not quite doing it for me, uh, this fix. I'm thinking about, because spring and summer are coming, I'm thinking about just asking for a fix full of dresses and skirts and seeing what they come up with. So I don't know that I'm going to keep anything from this Stitch Fix order. Honestly, I'm going to check on the dress, but I don't think I'm going to keep very much from it. Um, maybe the dress, but that's probably it, if anything. So, um, thanks for joining me for this video, you guys. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'm going to do a little bit of a life update in the next video. So be on the lookout for that. And, um, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye.